surface. There's no protective over varnish, and without protective varnishing, the picture should have been ruined long ago by the prolonged exposure to candle smoke and other pollutants. There's no fading or cracking, incredible when you consider it's been there for almost 475 years. The balanced placement of the stars is not an accident, at least not according to astronomers. The stars correspond to 46 stars and 14 constellations as they are in the positions of the early morning sky on December 12th. And December 12th was the day our Blessed Mother imprinted her image on the tilma. In recent years, the eyes have been subject of considerable scientific research. By using computer technology and amplifying the eyes up to 2,500 times the normal 7 to 8 millimeter size, researchers have found what appears to be the portrait of Juan Diego in the right eye. And just between 1532 and 1548, uh, you had 9 million that converted in Mexico to the Catholic faith. So we lost 5 million due to the Reformation in Europe, but we almost doubled that amount in uh, Mexico. And 20 million uh, come from all over the world to see the image of Guadalupe. In 1917, our Blessed Mother appeared to three little children, Lucia de Santos and Francisco and Jacinta Marto. She asked the people to pray the rosary, and she showed the little children a vision of hell. The little children uh, wanted a miracle performed by the Blessed Mother. They asked her for this miracle so that all the people would believe that she was appearing. So our Blessed Mother said she would work a miracle and it would be on October 13th at noon in 1917. And so it was the first time actually since the resurrection that a miracle has been predicted to take place at a certain time and place. And so the people came on October the 13th, 75 to 100,000 persons, up to their ankles in mud and atheists were there, skeptics, masons, uh, to mock the miracle when they thought it wouldn't happen. But then at 12 noon, the miracle did happen. The sun started to make movements outside the laws of nature, and it started to spin on its side for about 12 minutes. And then after 12 minutes, it started to plunge towards the earth, and everyone thought it was the end of the world. And uh, then right when it was about to hit the earth, it went back to its normal position in the sky sick were cured during this miracle and there's a second miracle because the clothes and the ground was dr were dry and uh, one engineer took a look and he said the amount of energy you would need to dry all the clothes in the ground uh, it would take a 10 megaton bomb he says and if that happened all the people would be burned to death uh, our blessed mother at Fatima predicted that Russia would spread its errors throughout the world and at that time Russia was the third weakest country in the whole world she mentioned that another worse war would begin in the reign of Pius XI. Pius XI wasn't even Pope at that time. She mentioned that you would know that God was about to punish the world when you saw a night illuminated by an unknown light. And uh, that light, that great light, was seen on January 25th, 1938. It illuminated the skies of Europe. It was a red glow that was seen for about